on this episode of Two Bears, One Cave. This is how hairy my butt is right now. Oh my God! <laughs> this is fucking disgusting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that one of those chupacabra babies? It's got hair on its back. <laughs> Let's pump tutorial. There we go. There we fucking go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We fucking bring it. We fucking bring it. 100%. I believe the term is African American. Guys, we did it. Episode 200. With a throwback joke in the. Oh, you used to do that all the time. Damn, I know, I know, I know. You changed and you started doing like, hey, when Skinny Tom showed up. Do you remember when you were fat when we did this show? <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, bring back Fat Tom. Uh, do you know how often I fucking hear that? Hashtag bring back. He was so much more fun. Do you know what Fat Tom didn't do? Call you pores. <laughs> Because he didn't change out his outfits at all. They just got bigger and bigger. I think that's not true. I think I had disdain for them <laughs> at fat every Tom size. was so much fun. Let's reminisce about Fat Tom. Do you know he used to get in his car and he'd have hot sauce in the side of his door? <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Yes. I mean, we went to a hike and oh. I go, you travel with your own hot sauce? Guess, guess like, I can't trust that they won't have the best no, hot sauce. No, that's not true. That's not true. Hot you know sauce. that he used to eat hot two sauce. pecan pies a day? That's true. Yeah. Hot sauce in the car is 100% Christina's. Oh, for real? Yeah, that was Christina's. She yeah. was putting back white wine last night like she didn't have kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she was in the green room just like... Let me, let me tell the- you something. There's a lot about you guys that's similar. <laughs> <laughs> she looked fucking fantastic. She looks great. She looks fucking fantastic. Both she, of you guys look great. She's got a lot of wine. Wait, do you guys spray tan and then look fucking hot? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pitch that idea. Dude, it, 200 episodes of this. I we started... More. No, nah, I know. We started in... Uh, well, here's the thing. To reminisce a little bit, we started in Reseda at the studio there. It was during the pandemic, right? Wasn't it during the pandemic or right around? I think we started think before the, right when we, started. we just started before the pandemic and then we doubled down. Yeah, during yeah, the pandemic. yeah. Because if you don't, we were just like, ah, let's just do this. And uh, we did it once every two weeks to start. It was just like, ah, oh, we'll just do it. I remember you. I remember you called me. You're like, I don't be, I don't believe in this kung flu. Let's guess. Let's start. <laughs> let's start doubling down. Yeah. These fucking liberal mask wearing hippies. Yeah, he's like, I'm not getting the jab. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no jab for me, man. No someone, jab for me. Someone in our office called in with uh, coronavirus. Is that what it's called still? Uh, COVID? COVID? Yeah. COVID positive. And I laughed. And the, and you're not supposed to. And they go, what? And I go, just sh- sh- come to work. Give us all. It's, we're fine. Yeah. Like, we're all good. I've had, I've had COVID seven times. Seven? I've had COVID seven Wait, times. Wait, you've seen seven positive I've tests? I've seen seven positive tests tests the last one was when i shot my special you shot I, your special and i gave everyone COVID on the private jet i gave everyone COVID, like a couple of immunocompromised people i'm raw let's, dogging them baby let's, i'm like that pilot that got aids from the monkey and yeah. then went around and spread it all through new zealand let's bring back skinny bert who didn't brag about his jet and his spreading diseases everywhere you know yeah, wow i got fat and turned into you you got <laughs> skinny and turned into you <laughs> Do you think people could deal with Skinny Bert? Do you think Skinny Bert was humbler? Yeah. Really? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right, I'll go to Skinny Bert then. I'm Jack Bert is what I am right now. Uh, oh, let me tell you something. Uh, Brian Callen grabbed onto my, on my, onto my shoulder last night. He's yeah. like, whoa, what's that? And I was like, it's my shoulder. What did he think it was? He's like, he was like, you work out. And I was like, yeah, well, I know. You, you, uh, you like to tell people that a lot. I, I tell everyone. <laughs> I had to tell Joe twice last night. Yeah. Was he like, you should get in the gym and you're like, buddy. No, he, he's like, no, he was like, uh, he was like, I've never heard someone brag about their shoulders. And I was like, feel it. And he was like, what? Because when you feel him, like I, Connor McGregor is a good close friend of mine. And uh, <laughs> I ran into him on the street in New York and and I, he was like, machine. And I was like, ah, Connor. And he's like, dude, your last special was so fucking good. Razzle dazzle. I was like, no, 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 please, please, please. Right. And so, but I dapped him up. And you feel Connor's shoulder. That's obviously the first part's a joke. I dapped him up. His shoulder is bulbous. Like, it is fucking bulbous. I really can't wait for him and Michael Chandler to fight. Uh, It's going to be one of my favorite fights I've ever watched. Michael Chandler's a fucking banger. Back to us. Now. Man. Uh, (laughs) Sidebar Joe does. Joe says to me last night, you know, you do have a, you do have a, a, a thing about interrupting people, and I was like, "He brings that. He brought that up last night. <laughs> we were talking. We were talking. It was a long story. <clears throat> so back to us. Fuck. So I remember back then I didn't like Nadav. When you're what? Oh, uh, when we, we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were banging heads a little bit. 
Yeah, you're like, you were like, don't fucking talk to me. Like, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that was a tense moment. But we we buried the hatchet really quickly and efficiently. I'm really good at self awareness of realizing when I fucked up. I'm I'm pretty good at that and so and correcting, self correcting. And Nadav, I honestly, Nadav's one of my favorite human beings alive. I love Nadav. I, I love when I see him. He's got always got a great smile, and so I'm glad we patched that up. Thanks, Bert. Me too. Uh, it's episode 200. Um. We were we were just reminiscing about some of our fondest memories. Fondest memories. Um, when you were fat, we would get fucking in and out for lunch. We still get in and out sometimes. You don't. Eat. You were like, you want a donut this morning, and I was like, don't try to pretend you're you're relatable. <laughs> and then I watched you suck down some Mark Bell protein powder, and you're like, no, have a donut, fat guy. <laughs> I didn't have a donut. You didn't? No. I could fuck. Do you remember when we had donuts on the show? Yeah. Do you remember when we brought in the girl to do the bit where she was hot? Yeah. And then, and then and you was, befriended her. And then I fucking, sh- I show up at my, at a spin class and she's my teacher. And I was like, Hey, do you remember when I objectified you? She was like, I do. Yeah. Cause you were, you were like, look, you like looking at her. What's it called? Decolletage. Her decolletage. 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 <sighs> You're a big, uh, big tit guy <laughs> is what, um, you've established, right? I, uh, I love tits. Yeah. Asses? Fucking dudes have asses. I don't need asses. I like asses a lot. Then you're you're half gay if you like asses. If you're into asses, you're you're you could be gay. I could be gay. I love asses. Mm-mm. Like big asses or big fat asses. Little boy asses. Big fat asses. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Let's play a game. Pull up asses and you gotta pick if it's a boy or a girl. There's gotta be a website that does that already. And if not, can we build it? Wait, wait, wait. Before you get to that. Okay. We'll get to that. You can put put asses and tits up there. Tits are so much better. There's no... I'll tell you the difference here. Do you think when, when, pe- when people transition, when girl, when females transition to male, they don't change their asses. They Here's don't even the think difference. about their asses. Tits are like earrings. Whether they're small or they're big old dangly ones, they're just earrings. Okay? They're just... It's just what it... it there's, you can make them big or small. It doesn't matter. Fucking asses do something primal. They do something, they tap into something inside of your brain that goes, holy shit, it turns, I think it turns a regular man not even thinking about sex into a savage. I think it actually flips a switch. Mm. That's how I see an ass. Oh, I think a tit, I think a a full forward leaning nip slip of a tit Mm -hmm. is primal i think that's primal i think if you see that all of a sudden you turn into an animal and your brain goes jack off but if you see an ass walk by you're like that's not not about that and by the way okay dare i say but you have your tongue buried in asses like your whole life or uh -uh, no (laughs) no not at all never no i mean i have recently but not <laughs> recently. Yeah, recently. Yeah. I'm pretty outrageous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leanne's a no. The <laughs> I I think assholes should be higher than they are. Because if you're doing a doggy style, I yeah. kind of wish they were like a little higher on their back so you could finger it like that. Yeah. Instead of going like and if you have a sure. g- gut, you can't even get in there. It's like you're looking for your keys. It's like trying to put a seatbelt on a plane. Mm-hmm. For me. <laughs> you gonna have a donut? No. We're not gonna celebrate episode two hundred with a donut? Nope. Self control. <laughs> Self control. Yesterday I ate perfectly. You did? Perfectly. I had two salmons and that's it. Two salmons and that's it. The whole day? Whole day. That's all I ate. And Joe brought in Terry Black's last night and I just stayed away from it. That's had like good. two tequilas, bounced, went back to my room. I took a road tequila, went back to my room, went to bed, listened to uh, Robier Maximilian's life and the Reign of Terror. And uh, I listen to history podcasts. I found two guys that are re- have a pretty good podcast. I think they're in Ireland. Yeah, it's called Who's uh Who do you listen to? The life story of who? Uh, Robier Maximilian. What's the story? So he created cancel culture. He created it. Yeah, with, with the reign of terror. What he did is the whole mind thought thing. It's it's kind of an, a deep <laughs> little thing. I was thinking about cancel culture last night, you know, hanging out with Joe and that's everyone in the fucking green room. All they want to talk about is cancel culture. And I'm just like, and so, and so, uh, and I was like, you know, they, I, I think the Incas did it. I think the Incas did we were, someone died. One of our friends died and we're sitting there and everyone's, and me and Adam, Eget were laughing to, to each other privately. 
And we're like, whew, wasn't me. And we're like, that's the crazy thing about death. When people die, every, everyone goes, whew, miss me again. Like, almost like it's yeah. never going to happen to us. Yeah. And, but then the Incas used to take the Aztecs up to the top. The Aztecs? And, or, yeah, yeah. The, the Aztecs used to take the Incas up to the top when they conquered the Incas. Have you ever seen a uh, fucking, what's the uh, the Mel Gibson movie? Yeah, uh, Apocalypto. Apocalypto. Yeah. They, they, when they capture them as slaves, they would then do human sacrifices. And people would all come and watch. And but, I was like, but those... Those are totally separate. Uh, like the Aztecs are up in Mexico, and the the Incas are down in South America. Yeah, but they caught, in 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 the Apocalypto in the they, movie in the movie they caught they went in invaded grabbed the slaves brought them back okay <clears throat> and then did human sacrifices and that I thought was like a form of cancel culture of like people celebrating people falling like people going like <laughs> okay Dude, that's what hang on hang on uh, I'm with this, you. here's right. my thought. <clears throat> Cancel culture in its essence isn't, I don't think people really give a fuck about the issue at hand. I think what they care about is it's not them. They go, oh, fuck, did you yeah. hear about, that's yeah. what they, they celebrate that it's not them. Well, there's this other thing that's happening when somebody gets in trouble for something. You're going, that's not me. And you're also, part of your brain is like running through the bad things you've said and done yeah. and gone like, <sighs> like, what would that be like if that were if, if I were in this position? Oh right yeah, now? and yeah. so and so I I was I'm trying to piece this together, uh, and so I'm thinking about the Aztecs and the Incas or whatever that was that yeah. those human sacrifices. Then I thought started, and then I transitioned into uh, hangings, public hangings, the witch trials. Yeah. Salem witch trials is cancel culture, really is, is because they're just like, let's not focus on what our problems are. Let's focus yeah. on that guy, and then let's kill him. And then, and then we don't have problems. We didn't do anything wrong. <clears throat> and then I went to the Reign of Terror. The Reign of Terror was in France in like the 1700s, 1600s. And it's done by this guy. Will you look up his name? I think it's Robert Maximilian. And he started it. He started the Reign of Terror and was like, we need to kill King fucking Louis or whatever, who was married to Marie Antoinette. Mm -hmm. And so they fucking killed, uh, type, type in Reign of Terror, R-E-I-G-N, Reign of Terror. Maximilian Robespierre, my bad. Came and, to dominate the Committee of Public Safety during the Reign of Terror. The Reign of Terror took place between September 5th, 1793 and July 27th, 1794. During the Terror, the Committee exercised virtual dictator dictatorial control over the French government. And so so this is all the connective tissue. So I'm, I'm thinking about, uh, uh, do you remember the, 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 the Red Scare? With uh, in the fifties, where they were calling people communists in L in in Hollywood. Yes, I was thinking about that, right? And so then I went to this guy. Public shaming is a public shaming yeah. is what is what cancer culture really is. It's public shaming. Yeah, and people celebrate it and they rejoice in it. It makes them feel better about themselves. And in France, it took place for those years, and it only ended when they killed Rob's Pierre Maximilian. Then they, then they were like, everyone's like, dude, this fucking cancel culture is out of control. He's killed 17,000 people. We need to fucking stop this. This guy's a fucking lunatic. We're not all bad people. Yeah. We're not all. So what they did is they I fucking like killed this him. Guy. <laughs> they killed him. They brought him in. He tried to shoot himself in the fucking head to kill himself because he's like, they're coming after me. Shot his jaw off. And then they drove him through town and everyone's like, fuck you. And then took him guillotine. And I was like, so then that's how you end. And by the way. Same thing happened with the Red Scare. It wasn't until they killed, until they got McCarthy, they were like, fuck you, and made a fool out of him and canceled him, that that ended. So I go, that's how you end cancel culture. You got to cancel the first person that started cancel culture. And who is it here? I don't know. There's Find out who started cancel culture. I didn't, in, I just In got, modern times? In modern times. <clears throat> There's one guy who's, who used, who coined the phrase, cancel that. Mo oh, you know who it was? Wesley Snipes. That's who started it? Wesley Snipes. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Uh, never mind. We're never going to find that. Um, Wesley Snipes started the phrase cancel culture. Do you know why? No. In, uh, in New Jack City, he's up there, and they're talking about- Nino Brown. Yeah, and he's like, yo, cancel that motherfucker. Oh, cancel him, yeah. Yeah, and so that's where the t phrase came from. Really? But yeah, I, mean, I was just trying to think last night about trying to write a joke. Yeah. And so that's where my brain goes. And so, Well, look- yeah. It's this 200th episode. I got you a present. I can't wait to open it. Maybe I'll open, you could open yours first because I know mine's going to be absolutely horrible and we'll spend the rest of the time talking about mine. Okay. 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 
See, that's how I know you. After spending 200 episodes with you, I know how you operate. How do I operate? There's some sort of hate crime in there. No. <laughs> no, there definitely is. And I'm going to hold it like the poster boy for the fucking neo-Nazis. <laughs> and then, <laughs> First of all, I would never put you in a position like that. Please, let me see what this is. Attention all my bearded beasts from Stubble to Maine, if you didn't already know. Manscaped now says beard products. Oh, you heard that correctly. The leader in below the waist grooming changed the game with their beard hedger pro kit. And now they're going a step further with their brand new handyman, an electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking for a sharpening up your neckline or giving your face that smooth finish, the handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com and use code BEARS for 20% off. And free shipping. It's time to go from five o'clock shady to yeah, baby. This thing's a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, it's a cordless trimmer that has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard. So you have no more drawer full of messy guards. As a guy who travels for a living, I have so many beard clip ons, so many add ons. It's so nice to simply take one clipper. <laughs> all the way down, throw it in your backpack and be done with it. As opposed to a little bag, travel bag with nine. It's got eight different sizes, maybe 12, because I have one that's tilted and and it's cordless. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code bears at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code bears. Hit the refresh button with Manscaped. We are supported by DraftKings. College football fans, the latest, greatest offer from DraftKings will have you celebrating a big win the second you make your first wager. You see, listen, today I am partnering up with DraftKings Sportsbook to tell you that right now all new customers will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly when they place their first $5 wager. Sign up now using our code BEARS and get ready to put on your crown. That's right. New customers who bet just $5 on any wager will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings. Same game parlays. Combine multiple bets together for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not available yet in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy offerings across all sports. Download the DraftKings app now. New customers who use our promo code BEARS and bet just $5 on any wager will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code BEARS only at DraftKings. Well, Isla bought yours. Really? Yeah. Isla bought your present. This could be like a weird thing then, huh? It is a little weird. She bought two, and she said, this is what I want him to have, but I know this is what you want him to have, but can you give him what I want him to have? And I went, yeah. Sure, Isla. So this is from Isla. She thinks visually it's a beautiful present, and she thinks it'll be more effective. Now, hold on. Pete, is it at the bottom? Well, okay. Here's what she, okay, here's okay. what she bought. And I really think what she, she bought it, because this is what I wanted to give you. And she liked it so much, I think she wanted to keep it for herself. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's a really cool, this is a cool present. This is a katana. This is the katana uh, sword from a a military Japanese World War II. Seriously? Dead serious. And it was pretty fucking pricey. Uh, there is the Japanese soldier signature is inside. Here's really fucking badass. Uh, and... I know because a lot of people think you're Japanese, Sagura. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a. That's why I, I was. Why I was like, that's what I want to get him. Okay, awesome. That's not what she wants you to have. Okay. Are they both weapons? This is a morning star. Fuck it, a man. Yeah, Ida said this would be much more effective in a home invasion. And so I cannot have that anywhere near my boys. <laughs> They're literally because literally, well, one of them will be dead within 15 minutes. Wait, where will you keep it? I mean, <laughs> here it's awesome. Can I see that? Yeah, this is awesome. Here we'll FaceTime Island, see what she says. 
Here, you want to take a look at this morning, this katana too? Yeah, holy this katana's shit. pretty fucking How do you fucking buy this? Uh, Isla. Isla and Peter. Found this? Yeah, they, they found a place in Long Beach that sells fucking medieval weapons, like authentic medieval fucking weapons. Holy shit, this would be so take fucking fun. Take a look at this bad bitch. To hit somebody with. Take a look at this. This is crazy. So. I, by the way, when that was still ripped up and wrapped up in the cloth, yeah. I thought that that was just one of those massive dildos that like they sell at you know the adult stores yeah. and he's like oh it's a japanese katana. i'm like uh-huh so right here is a piece of paper where the soldier autographed the paper and shoves it into the sword you can see that little thing right seriously there. yeah this is pretty fucking that's genuine yes yeah, genuine from world war ii stop yeah i'm gonna go ahead and and accept this as not just episode 200, but as a birthday gift since this year you didn't get me anything. Then you got two things. Okay. Congratulations, buddy. Fucking thanks, man. Yeah, should we, should, we should FaceTime Isla. She's like, she's going to be fine. This is for real? It's for real. This World is... War II Katana. It's sharp as fucking shit. Isla gave me, walked me through all the stuff of how to use it. And, uh, yeah. And the, and the, so, so he was a, Pete, he, Pete and Isla got the info. He was a, Mar maritime soldier oh this smells yeah it smells old it's old as fuck you know when things like like you smell it and you're like this smells old yeah it's old as fuck and so his signature see that little dot in there yeah he wrote they they so they knew it was theirs they Seriously? signed it and then they rolled it up and shoved it in there so that they knew it was theirs yesterday this is why i'm so scared that i i'm on the bike yeah christina's out and ellis comes down he's like hey you need to go upstairs. I'm like, why? I'm like, just let me ride the bike, man. Yeah. And he's like, Julian's crying. I go, for what? He goes, he got hurt. I go, how'd he get hurt? And he's like, we were fighting, but like play fighting. And I go, I'm, I'm running upstairs. I'm like, what happened? And I just hear like, yeah. And I'm like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> and he's like, I act my foot accidentally hit him. I go, did you kick him? He goes, I think so. <laughs> Foot accidentally hit him. I go where he goes in the head. I'm like, great man. I can't wait to see your boys playing with the katana. Oh yeah, or this right here, <laughs> the Morning Star. That's fucking badass. You got to keep. I keep that here. I put it up on the yeah, background. Yeah, we should we should keep this because that'll look nice on the. That's the other thing I just said. Dude, is, the weight of this. It's heavy as fuck. I mean, and it's fucking. If you hit someone with that, God game it, over. Fucking Nadav. Yeah, Nadav, huh? That's the first thought I had. Can I tell you what? Can I tell you what? Uh, oh, this is game over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is like, yo, you're going to learn how to Google. <laughs> I can... Isla was like, it would look great on your set. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bro. I should FaceTime Isla and see if she's awake. She was like. <sighs> what, time does it, what time does she sleep till usually? Because no, school hasn't started. No, no. She sleeps. It's summer. It's summer and she's sleeping an aggressive amount. Really? Yeah. She, uh. Is, it, is she about to be a senior? She is a senior. Yeah, That's she's about to be a senior, yeah. She's about to be a senior. We're trying to get her to drive. It's been the whole. She doesn't care about driving. She doesn't care about driving and her taste in cars. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit. It sways bullshit. She wants, like, the cheapest car she can find, like, the cheapest car she can find. The cheapest, smallest car, or a vintage Bronco. I'll hook you up with. They're fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollars. All of them. You can't find one uh, that I, isn't. All right, I'll I'll, holler one. at me. All right, so time to open my present. Yes. This is. Uh, I, by the way, thank you for mine. Those are fucking rad. I yeah. wish. I wish I had more. I wish I had more gifts for you. No, I feel. I feel like I can't I, wait to see what it is. It's fucking cool, dude, and it's genuine. Uh, can you? Part of me feels like it might be a pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking badass, dude. And it's exactly what you wanted. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself. You're not. It's the real deal. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's real. Chloroform? Real chloroform. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Not a gag gift. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up! <laughs> Shut yeah. the fuck up! Let's try it out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Isn't that rad? How'd you get chloroform? It's easy. You just got it online. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You can travel with it. For yeah. real? Yeah. 
Yeah, you can give it to a girl, whatever you want. I'm gonna put this on my checked bags in, yeah. in my check in my in my carry on. Might maybe keep it like that for now. Really? I think so. Unless we're gonna try it. Uh, I can't try it. I'm I'm quitting drinking. You get yeah. That's okay. That's it's, it's a great way to quit drinking. Yeah. At the end of the night, I'm like, well, I'm done for the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if, what if it was on my hand and I do the joke? And you I'm know like, what you get, you know what you should do for what? the. I mean, because you trust them. Mm -hmm. For like the first time. Yeah, maybe keep it in the bag. They zip that up pretty tight, huh? Yeah. I bet there's I bet there's a lot of fucking Okay, this is what I would do. Okay. Let's say you were spending the night tonight. You go to the hotel. You have Peter restrain your arms and legs mm -hmm. and then soak a rag, uh, put a protective thing over his mouth, and then hold the soaked rag over your face where you can't resist. Because it's got to, you got to hold it there for five minutes. You got well, I don't know five, but like you got to hold it there for a while, and this way you don't have the ability to knock it away. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking. What if I dropped it? <laughs> It'll knock you out for two minutes or or to two hours or more. <laughs> that's chloroform. <laughs> but if it's more than eight hours, tell him to call a doctor. I wish I had my glasses. I want to read the instructions. Yeah. It says for real G's only. That's yeah. It's a special kind. It's the oh, real thing. Chloroform. What a great two hundredth gift yeah, president. Yeah. <laughs> you got a katana and a morning star, and I yeah. got chloroform. Yeah. By the way, those are so our personalities. It's totally great. Yeah. I just want to be put out for the night, and yeah. you want to fucking kill people. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm a, I feel like I should wash my hands. <laughs> Have, uh, you, Have you been touching it much? No. Um. <laughs> Hey, Nadab, can I get some hand sanitizer? No, no, it's in the bag. You're good. It's safe in the bag. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you been touching the bag? I have, and I've been staying conscious for the last couple of days. Yeah. Fucking unreal. Oh, my God. Big announcement. What? No diarrhea today. And here's the thing. How much diarrhea have you been having? Well, I, haven't sh I didn't shit today. Really? I forgot to. Is it something you usually schedule? If I, so, if I go sit on the toilet, I shit. Like in the morning? <laughs> I've set myself up pretty regular. Yeah. I just sit down the toilet, I shit. So I've been really good with healthy valve movements for a while. Like yeah. I'm very happy about it. And guess when I started shitting uncontrollably again? When I started swimming in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then they, like a week after I started swimming in the ocean, I saw the notice. They were like, don't swim in the ocean. There's like record levels of bacteria that'll make you sick. Oh, that's right. Because and our I was whole like, city, if it rains, our whole city turns the ocean to poison. It, and they're like, it is, don't even go in the ocean. And I was like, oh, I'm swimming in it every fucking day. Every day. And I started to just shit crazy. I was like, why am I shitting like this all the time? Are you just plaguing your body with poison? I'm just shoving poison in my, I'm swallowing. Oh. And then I finally am like, oh, today I shit normal. And it's like, yeah, maybe the poison has kind of found its way out of your body. Oh, wow. But yeah, it was, uh, it was like every, I was like, man, why? And I saw the notice of like, don't swim the day before I left. Really? Yeah. That's when I was, they were like, absolutely do not swim. In. And they, they listed like all the beaches. It was like 12 and beaches. And we eat those fish. Dude. Yeah. There's so much shit in our ocean. The ocean's so enormous. Um. God, I was thinking about too because I was thinking about when we watched those uh, like shark videos, uh, the level of pan I wonder how much you panic, and then how quickly you resign to your death in those situations. You know, yeah. like how quickly you're like, like if some part of your brain's just like, oh, <laughs> there's nothing to do anymore. Wait, when you resign to death? Yeah, in I the, thought about that. With, I was listening to a documentary on or like Jimmy the polar Hoffa. bear. You know, the polar bear is like, oh, that's different. That's when you're just like. Someone is going to kill me. No, no, no. When you're like, when you're in a, like with Jimmy Hoffa, I think they put him in the cement at a giant stadium. Yeah. Well, that's the, the, yeah. yeah. And so I wonder if they, I bet they left him alive and sank him into the cement. <sighs> and then, and at one point you have to think I'll get out of this. And then at one point you have to think, uh Oh, and then I thought political that, figures, it's different when you just like, if you're, um, you know, like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, they knew they had a target on their back. Like they, they just know, right? Yeah, so, but do you think they knew knew? Like, well, I, I don't think they know the moment, but I think that like every time I'm sure in that remember the sixties and they're like this this voice that you have but you have to 
try to put yourself in the mentality that people are like, we don't want you to have rights to go places. We don't want you to be thought of as equal. And these guys are like the leading, you know, different ways of doing it. And they're killing. They were killing. I I still get, I still, there's certain things I can't believe happened, right? Like, I can't believe uh, Jared from Subway was a, like a part of me goes, for real? Like, I think, and then. I'm I'm talking about it on stage now. Are you really? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. And then I can't believe that like those, the, um, I was talking about cause I, I knew him. Yeah. 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 You did. Yeah. You guys are like buddies. You used to share like emails and stuff. I was going like hundreds. And yeah. so, uh, but I can't believe that like the freedom riders, the, 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 the two Jewish kids and the black kid that came down to through Mississippi, Mississippi, yeah. the Mississippi burning story. I can't believe, I can't believe that there's a world that existed where cops would pull you over and then shoot you. I understand that that still happens today. But like the fact that there was no law, like that, and that they all got away with it, Dude, and they're still getting away with way, it today. Apparently, the way you get away with it back then too is like you know, the judge and the jury. Like you, like if you were a white guy, you killed a black guy, they would put you on. They're like, all right, let's go through the whole, the judicial process here, and they'd be like, what do you think? And all of them would be like, Bert's a good guy. Yeah. And then it's like, and the judge would be like, and case closed, and then <laughs> that would be it. They're like, there is no justice they were like i'm sure that you felt threatened i I did your honor that was it it was just a totally rigged system so i'm saying if you're those guys in that in that era right you know they probably go through a a level of acceptance of like people want to kill me because people really did want to kill those those two jewish kids i wonder if they were like don't worry we'll talk to them hey this guys you're not allowed to do this you know what i mean yeah and then those cops are just like fuck you you're dead yeah fuck you you're dead and we've got a, a, a plan to go bury you in a landfill. Yeah. Like that, the the fact that injustices like that happen it are uh, unfathomable to me. Like like the idea that like if I, if I went and performed, I, I'm sure if we performed in like Afghanistan, they'd behead us, right? They'd like, kill us. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's what they do to stand-ups. And so, they, uh, allegedly, <laughs> you know, if you made, I don't know. They might like my new shit. <laughs> I don't know. They might. <laughs> I think you might take your shirt off, and then they go, "Is this a gay?" And then they just kill you immediately. Yeah. Stone but like you to death. the idea that you could be beheaded. Yeah. That there's places where they would actually behead you, and and they would actually not care about your rights. Like I have, I care about people's rights. I care about people feeling good. What's the, that's the thing about living in a civilized society is you, we all agree to these, like, you know, to these rules and the acceptance of like, Hey, someone's like here. Yeah. People are allowed to say things to you and voice their opinions. We live now in a world where you go like, Oh, that's, that should be the standard, right? That, that people are allowed to disagree with you and, and stand up for themselves. But there's parts of the world where like, that's not a reality, you know, like there's, like a woman in, they fucking FK. cut their clits off. That, that, but that, that, like, yeah. Or the, they go, uh, she, she's a whore. Time to gang her. Correct. I mean, Crazy. the fucking, the fact that there's a child in Sierra Leone snorting brown brown just to get through the day, like, they, like a child going like, this world's pretty rough. What's brown brown? I don't know. I saw it on a documentary. Okay. Is, or I might have seen it in a movie. I don't know. Okay. I think it's in a movie. It's a but God of War, Lord of War. This got into a pretty serious. Uh, uh, t- territory. How did we get I was, in here? Uh, t- diarrhea led to poison uh, fish. To, the ocean so big, and then the acceptance of dying, like when a shark attacks you. Um, I think I'd swim into its mouth. At a certain point, I'd be like, "Can I fight it?" And if I'm like, I'm like "If I'm Endless. like, yeah," I'm like, "Let's get this over with." Like, yeah. and you better eat the whole me. See, like the that's the thing is, I think the polar bear. Oh man. You know, like that guy with that polar bear on it. I was like, remember it stood up. It's fucking like nine feet tall. You're like, oh my god. I mean, a polar bear would just kill you to kill you. You know, it wouldn't have to be hungry. There's, there's got to be like, I wonder how many times in, in atrocities in the world that I would go time out, and they'd be like, "There's no timeouts, man. We're ripping you." Yeah. And I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Welcome to Baaz, bitch." That that time, I, I um somebody we know. I guess I'll just say it. So and then you we'll cut this out. Um, t- tell me about uh being there for a a, a prison. And and who, who? I had to tell me who, and it is like so sobering to hear the details of that. Uh, who? All right. Oh my so, god! So he was in jail for a while. Really? Yeah. For I mean, 
it wasn't serving time like here's your sentence it was i think it was like in the so I, it, technically i guess not prison it's jail it's jail but it's like rikers yeah and you still get uh access to i think the library so he was in the library oh what a bad place for that to happen and uh and they were raping a guy like three guys were and i was and he was telling me the story I, and he's I was told like, me the story where they they looked at him and go you want in on this yes and he was like i'm good and then the the guy the guy was like come on the guy who was being was like come on and they were like we're being nice to you right now because if you were a white we uh we wouldn't use lube because they were using lube and they and talk about injustice and he was telling me that and and like they offered him they're like you want a piece of this and he was like he's like no i'm good and the fucking how did we get so dark today <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. How did we start here? Oh, maybe it's the fact that I gave you a fucking morning star yeah. and you gave me chloroform. Yeah. We were destined for this darkness. Yeah. Oh, it was about the fear, though. Like the fear and the, 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 thing the panic. You can't the panic. Stop it. Like you can't stop. That's you what can't it is. You stop can't stop it. But like that poor son of a bitch laying on that table, there's nothing he can do. You no. think you could be like, guys, guys, let me talk to you for a second. There's nothing you let can me, do. Hang on. Let me tell you a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I make you guys three guys laugh. walk into a library. Oh, guys, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. That's why you need guns. Yeah. You need to protect yourself. How many guns you got now? Uh, four. Nice. Yeah. You got, got a good handgun? <laughs> yeah. I got a couple of those. What else you got? Shotgun. Yeah. Got AK-47. AK-47 is aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it drunk. Do you, ever, do you ever take it to the range? No. no. I don't have bullets for it. Can, you can get them, right? Yeah, sure, but I don't care. I just like the... It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh... <laughs> I haven't picked it up yet. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Let's transition out of this darkness into something fun. How many times have you felt you were between sizes when you're buying clothes? Uh, ding, 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 ding. I do not identify as a double XL. I'm an XL. Double XLs I swim in. XLs I just look yoked in. But sometimes I baby doll tea because I've been drinking. Listen, if you've been drinking a few too many this lately, or you've been hitting the gym extra hard, and you got yoked out traps like me what's cool about marine layer is they have an in-between sizes so finally no longer do you have to make that difficult to decision whether you're a medium or a large or a large or an extra large that's right they're making a marge it's a thing for all my music junkies marine layer just dropped a line featuring classic bands like the grateful dead bob marley cream led zeppelin crosby stills and nash and pink floyd each shirt Features one of Bill Graham's legendary Fillmore posters. You can finally rock a great fitting quality band shirt that lasts. I'm telling you, that's what I've been looking for. So many of the old ones are so crappy. These ones are nice and you can look yoked out in them and you're still stylish. For the gym, we're just going to get Froyo. Look, I think we can all admit the perfect tee can be hard to find. Look no further than Marine Layer. For a limited time, get 15% off with the code BEARS15 at marinelayer.com. That's code BEARS15 for 15% off your entire order at marinelayer.com. Saving your closet one shirt at a time. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices, and the path forward isn't always clear. I'm going through that right now. I have not been drinking for like a month, and uh, I'm eating clean, and I'm feeling good, and I feel present, and I'm talking to my family like I'm present and I'm thinking, what, like, how do, where, how do I proceed forward? Like, what is my, what is my path? I know what I like in life. I know what I want in life. I can't talk to my wife about it. I can't talk to her because she's too close to the forest to see the trees. That's why I'm in therapy. I'm talking to my therapist about it. Once a week, I do online therapy. What, look, whether you're dealing with the decisions and life choices I'm dealing with, or you're just dealing with something like your relationship or your career or should I get a new car? Anything. It's very easy because therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while navigating life. So you can move forward with confidence and excitement, trusting yourself to make decisions that will align with your values like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. Like I said, I only use online therapy. For me, it doesn't uh, infringe into my schedule. So, And I'm, I say this honestly, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's designed entirely online. 
designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Bears today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Bears. Your new tour bus? Yeah, I got a new tour bus. Um, are you excited? Oh, dude, it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best for someone who lives on a tour bus like myself. It's the fucking best. Did you spec it out? I, I built it. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I built it. It's Who'd fucking, you use? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to remember. Same, some person. Okay. And so... Uh, but what I did, Tom, and yeah. I think you'll appreciate this. Yeah. So normally when you do a tour front bus. Front lounge? What? Front. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Front front lounge. But what I did when people build tour buses, there's two types of tour buses. There's star coaches and then there's like uh just like a, a crew bus. Yeah. That's all bunks, back bedroom, back hangout room, front lounge, and and uh and maybe like maybe a small shower. Well, I wanted a bedroom, but I and then there's then there's star coaches. Star coaches are usually double slide outs. It's a slide out in the back where the bedroom is, and a slide out out front, meaning that it pushes out so you have a bigger bedroom. Well, I had had slide outs. I've, I've been on more tour buses than a lot of fucking any anyone. When you Google celebrity tour buses, only mine show up because I'm the only dickhead taking pictures in a tour bus. Like Motley Crue isn't wrapped. Like, you, oh yeah, yeah. And so what I liked. What I, what I didn't like about those double slide outs, and this is so inside the weeds on tour buses, but this is for anyone that ever, ever, ever was going to need one. Those back ones, when you, you go to bed, at, your bus calls at 3 a.m., they're going to start driving at 4, you're, everyone's in bed, you're asleep. Well, if you're in the back, back start bedroom, when he starts the engine, it is right by your pillow. It's, yeah, you loud. wake up, yeah. and you're like, fuck. And then as you go back to sleep, he's driving, and you're on the axle, and you're like this all fucking night. And it's the most uncomfortable sleep. Yeah. But when you get there the next day, it slides out yeah. and it feels cool and you got room to hang out, but no one hangs out in their bedroom. What I noticed is the best sleep you can have is in the bunks. When you're in the middle of the bus, that sleep is like this and it rocks you to sleep. The problem is the bunks aren't big enough. So what I did is I put lounge, tiny bathroom, just a, just a little bathroom. Uh, in the front. In the front. And then I have uh, bunks. And then the next set of bunks is my bedroom. So it's not a slide out, it's a bedroom. And so it's a queen size bed, uh, a cabinet. And then I put the bathroom in the way back, made it really big, and then put the closet in front of the engine so that it muffles the sound of the engine. So when you get bus call, you go to sleep, no windows, ice fucking cold, mm -hmm. no windows. And cool. when the bus calls three, you get in bed at three, everyone starts passing out, engine starts, you do not hear it. When bus starts driving, you do not feel it. All of a sudden, you notice like you're moving down the street. And you're like, wow, how long have we been driving? And you're like, shit, we're going to be there in 30 minutes. I slept sound the whole fucking night. It's outside my house. And I was telling I was telling Gavin Rossdale about it. I did an episode of Something's Burning with him. Yeah. I was telling him about it. And as I explained it to him, anyone that lives on a bus, he was like, whoa. He was like, for real? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, you put the bunk, you put the bed where the second, but those are the best sleeps. And I went, yeah, that's where the bed is. And he was like. Can I, can I rent it out? And I was like, I was like, I don't know. I'm weird about because I go, I want to. I just keep it the whole time because it's like mine, and I like keeping all my stuff in there. I don't want well, to have to unpack it. Yeah, I mean, I got to see it. I want to. I want to. Yeah. The first time I ever rented a bus, I'd never rented a bus before. It was like 2017 or 18. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a lot of tears. Just so you know, if like imagine if so, if you go to rent a car, right, and you're like, do you want to get the economy car? Or do you want to get, you know, a luxury car? I did economy for a long time. Well, I did the economy, right? I was like, oh, I've, I've never done it before. <clears throat> I'm just getting into, like, doing theaters. Got this tour. I go, I'll rent this one. So I get it. <laughs> Fucking, man, it's like the first night I'm in the back, I'm asleep and or going to sleep. And I'm like, man, it's loud as fuck, right? I mean, it was loud, but it was loud. Like, even in the years that came after it on all the buses. I've been on a lot of buses. I've never had something that loud. So, and I'm trying to be like, you know, like not a complainer. Yeah. So after like a few days, driver's like, everything cool? Everything, you know, good? I'm like, yeah, I got to tell you, man, it's fucking loud. He goes, yeah, man, this thing needs a new transmission. I keep telling him. And I was like, I go, 
Dude, but I mean, have you heard how loud this is? I mean, you're driving, but so he turns it on and I go, just go in the back. And he's like, oh yeah, that's not normal. And I'm like, yeah, it sounds like a jet engine. Yeah. It was so fucking loud. We end up getting a deal from them because how, like how bad the thing that he's like, this thing shouldn't even be on the road. I keep telling him, like, why am I renting it? When you get a bad transmission or a bad suspension, when the suspension goes out, you are bouncing all over the fucking road. And then there's cool ones where, so I also was on, not on this last, on this last tour, I just rented the bus for the tour. So it was just, it was my bus. It was pretty good bus. Yeah. On the previous tour, I was chartering buses, but like a week here, two weeks. I didn't do like the year rental. Yeah. And one time I got like, it was like if you go to the rental counter at the airport and you're like, fuck it, I'll do it Escalade today, right? It was yeah. like that. So I, I get, I I'm, I see this thing and I, I, just for the two weeks, I'm like, that's fucking expensive. And they're like, yeah, that's how this company, I'll, I'll tell you who the company is. But Over 30 grand? Yeah. Wow. So I was like- that's what I'm saying. I was like, Jesus. But I was like, this is like a splurt. Like, you know, yeah. it's your birthday. You're like, yeah. all right, fuck it. And I'm like, how could this bus be any different than the bus? Like, the bus pulls up and, it, you know, outside you're like, damn, I get on and I'm like, what the fuck, man? This is the, and they're like, yeah. The guy goes, I just got off. Uh, I just dropped off JLo and I'm picking you up. And I was like, this is the craziest fucking thing that I have ever been on. And even in like last year when I had that, I mean, it did not compare to this bus. The bus had it was it also had like smart, smart things where like, you know, the wall here is flat. You're like, oh, and then it goes, oh no, no, touch here. You touch, and then a dishwasher came out. And I was like, oh Jesus. Yeah. Like I'd never seen that. There was uh smart TVs everywhere, and then it had libraries of movies built oh, in wow. and then you and then when you uh the light panel you go to touch this he's like no no pull it it comes off the wall it became an ipad and it controlled the lights and then it had like 200 movies and you could play it here or play. i was Jesus like Christ. so that's why i was like oh that's why this thing is and then yeah the bedroom it was like um it was like you were going on vacation and it was like a luxury villa and i was like okay yeah. that's that's the the level of this, and and I and I never had something like that again. And I also learned that this guy drove J Lo for like I don't know nine months, and he goes, "We never made eye contact." Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see? Uh, you ever see Mariah Carey uh, shade J Lo? No, I, just, I, don't know, I saw the clip on TikTok. Do you have your headphones? Yeah, you got to see this. What uh, this the whole thing I've been trying to sh- I wanted to show you. So before you and just get it ready. Um, this and I'm not. This is on YouTube, so it's on YouTube. Okay. And I had them when it, when it got on YouTube. When I saw it on YouTube, the first thing I did, I go rip this because they're going to pull this off of YouTube. And guess what? It never got pulled. It's still on there. Really? Yeah. For reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now. Oh my god! All right, so step one is to squeeze this cream Hold onto on, this your is hand. On? So I'm going- YouTube right now, right now it's on YouTube. Do you know how many views it has? Uh, five hundred sixty-five thousand million. Thirty-eight million right now. Thirty-eight million. Yeah. To be well, doing just that. All right, now it says to apply a thick, even layer to cover hair. Do not rub it in. So let's do that. Was nair on your asshole? This is how you would. Get the hair out of there, right? And I guess this is kind of what you were saying about Asses? what kind of ass do you like? You know, that one's not that bad. Yeah. I kind of like it with the hair, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it's a, it's like it's a tight. Yeah, it's not big fat ass. It's like a it's a small, but it's, it's a, an Asian ass. It's an Asian like little twink ass. Cheeks as well. Setting a timer for three minutes. Don't go past three minutes because I did that with my armpits. Like I went to five minutes and it literally burned and stung so bad. We have Press one pause. minute left. So because we're talking about hair removal, have you ever tried Nair? No. Would you try it? Yeah. If I could put my asshole online like that. That's what I was thinking we could do. I'll put my asshole online. If you could show it. But yeah. I think you can. As long as uh, I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Do you know why this is right now? Really? You know why this is right now? And I'm gonna. This is exactly how I do it. This is an instructional video. 
how to take ha- a- ha- asshole hair out of my asshole and I will be hairless in my asshole for my tops off world tour and I'll get 39 million views yeah. and I'll fucking double every arena show I'm doing. Well, fuck. I mean, why are you being serious? We can put our assholes online because he's giving you like an instructional thing. And, and there's are like, you being serious? So yes. I can be like, my name is Bert Kreischer and this is how you jack off. Uh, I think if there's some medical benefit and you go, but don't do it like this, you could get hurt. This is a cheat code that is going to break my brain. Yeah. So I can be like, I can be like, here's wait. This is not even keep going. After, so like, far, there's no stinging. Nothing's hurting. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. This is impossible. Okay. Hold on. Check small area. Thicker hair may require more time. So let's check a small area first. Oh my God. That was one swipe. <laughs> God damn. A lot of the hairs came out, you guys. Right? So he's cleaning. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> this is fucking disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, so he, if you're listening, he took a paper towel and he clean. he did some swipes and hair has just fallen off. And now go ahead. This is how my butt looks pre-rinse and pre-shower and post hair removal cream. I'm going to take a shower and clean the area and come back and show you what the results are. All right, guys, I'm back from my shower, did He's my nighttime skincare. This okay. is how my butt looks post shower, post rinse, and post hair removal cream. And then look, he also, he fle- he does the wink and is pretty hairless now. It's not bad. Yeah. And you can see his bag also clearly hanging. He's got a big bag. Yeah. Pretty wild. That, I, would, I wouldn't have thought he'd have a bag that hangs like that. Hold on. Yeah. Why don't we just break the internet and do it to each other? Do it to each other? Yeah. It, it, first of all, it there's no there's no backside to this. I don't see any backside to this. Backside? Or like, I don't downside? see like downside, downside, downside. I think you're looking at this backside. I don't backside. see any downside to this <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. I don't see any downside at all. I'm being serious. From yeah. a marketing perspective, this is genius. This kid's face, 35 million people have watched. How long has this been 38. up? 38. Yeah. 38 million How long people. has it been up? When you About three weeks from when you guys sent it to us. You, but you, can you see if you pull up the video on yeah, YouTube? Yeah, look it up. Uh, is, this the, hold on, is this there any more after this, or is it just this asshole that winked at us? Uh, I'm f- subscribed. A, I'm subscribed. I'm subscribed. Obviously, huh? there are some hairs on my cheeks still, like stray hairs, but like overall, I think we did really good. And I think this really. Nair hair removal cream did a really good job. I think that's why it's allowed to stay. Hairs. Hairs. And so, yeah, that's how you it's, get rid of your butt hairs using the Nair hair removal cream or really any hair removal cream okay. in general. Thank you guys so much so, for watching. I, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. I think that that's well, that smiled. First of all, he's adorable. <laughs> he's he's, he's a, adorable. He ends it when he goes. Yeah. Um, that's not a genuine smile. <laughs> let me do an impression. Let me see that. Let me see that sort. <laughs> this is my impression of his father. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking, there's no way. His fucking dad looks at that and goes, that's what I was fucking. That's my son. That's my son <laughs> removing his ass hairs. I'm probably totally wrong. I bet his dad's super supportive. I don't but know. But there's fucking. No, there's, you're, you're, yeah. It's been up for, it's been up for a month. And it, is the current view count, has it gone up? I mean, it probably has since we, we watched it a few days ago and it was 38 million. That's fucking insane. I don't see the downside of me and you waxing each other's 38. assholes. 38.7 million. Hmm? 38.7 million now. Oh, well, only 700,000 people have watched it since we watched it last. Um, uh, you think it's been flagged? It's had to have been flagged. Because I, I mean, you can find breastfeeding people videos. People have definitely. Type in, type in how to breastfeed. How you to know breastfeed. What actually, you know what I want you to do, actually? I'm being serious here, Nadav. Yes. I want you to. I hate gays. I hate What's gays? That? I don't know, something on the home. Most oh. out of pocket uh, is it, No, 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 no. That's the way they do the internet. The internet's fucking stupid. Look at this. Schultz goes crazy. He doesn't go crazy. It's just, that's the way you fucking write things these days. Yeah, yeah. You don't say, you don't say, hey, we had an interesting conversation. You're like, Tom hates Jews. And then you're like, yeah. And then, but we'll put it as the, put it as the fucking 
Watch. Just say I hate Jews. Nope. Just say just say I hate, and then go sandwiches, and then just say Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to. Oh wait, I want you to do something before I forget. I want to see breastfeeding videos. Uh, I guarantee you, it's up there. There's got to be how to uh, how to. I'll pump, say this: I, I don't breast pumping. Breast I pumping. Don't like grapefruit juice. I and if you, you put that as a title, yeah. if you put that as a title of this episode, it will it'll be it'll perform better than any of our other episodes. Yeah, but you might that's, be right. Well, well, that's what sucks about the fucking internet because you don't know what you're getting. It's like back in the day, you could be like uh, Joe Rogan talks to a fucking uh, uh, pharmacologist, and yeah. you're like, oh, that's an interesting conversation. Now it's got to be Joe Rogan says statins are aren't real, yeah. and you're like. Hold on, that's not what they're com- their three-hour conversation. You have to elicit about. something. He's educating people on these things. I want breast pumping videos. <laughs> but there has to be breast pumping videos. Women with enlarged, engorged tits. How do breast? What about pump- face sitting? I'm a big face sitting fan. Okay, let's fucking get after it. Fucking find one that's got 38 million views. Yeah, let's do the view counts. Do the view counts. Tits out. Tits out and not some fucking Nancy. I want a fucking MILF. Mamas, if you've been... You Mamas. Know how convenient She's too young. To She's too young. Do, 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 do. Yeah, go to the spike. Go to the spike um, at the end. Go to the spike at the end. When they're cutting your bottle full of milk and like... Tit out. Um, just lightly. It doesn't need to be hard. Oh, just she's going to keep it on. Fingers. Boo! Um, kind of like small circular Boo. Go full Asian on us. And then once you've let down, you can alternate between... Nobody wants you to do this with your shirt on! <laughs> Look at her fucking face. Yeah. You know what? We're flag trying to her. S- flag her. Flag her. Report her to YouTube. Yeah, report her for report not, her. not helping. Okay, we see a nipple. Yeah, you know what sucks, though, is you don't want to see a baby doing it. Just pretend it's a midget. Breastfeeding attachments? Breastfeeding theories. Roll on. I don't want to see a God, baby. I don't want to see it? a fucking... Fucking newborn? Come on, come on. Just scroll. Get to the... Pie. I... No, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Think of the fucking. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that one of those chupacabra babies? It's got hair on its back. <laughs> That's one of those Peruvian babies that have hair all over its face. <laughs> those wolf boy babies. Jesus, how does it have hair on its back and shoulders? What the fuck? I'm ignoring a tit looking at a baby's back. Shut the fuck up. Next. Yeah, I don't like let's this. Let's see it. So let's see. Give me like a fucking okay. Wait, breast pumping. The breast pumping. Breast there's pumpings. not a yeah. There's not a breast pump one that has. <sighs> fucking ass. How do, how do operate breast pump? Breast pump tutorial. And now go for fucking millions of views. Yeah, there's not a view count thing we can view go. View counts. Highest view count. She looks like her. But wait, doesn't the filter allow you to go search by view counts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most popular. Type. There we go. There we fucking go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We fucking bring it. We fucking bring it. Fuck yes. Wow, Trevor Phillips. Thanks for educating us. Jesus. God, she's got some big fucking fucking tits. Those are amazing. Yeah. This is fucking holy shit. I feel like I'm learning so much right now. (laughs) God, that's how you, that's, by the way, that's not how you do it, guys. There's a fucking no. machine that'll help. My wife no, used that it. That shit's like glue coming out of her God tits. damn it. Look at her. T- she, her t- she looks like crazy. a fucking, she looks like a city folk who just bought a cow. Do you like those? Get, do you lean like those tits? Up, lean, full view, full view. Hand expression I don't tutorial. know. I've never, I've never seen, yeah. I've never seen tits like that in my entire this life. This is an Eastern European apartment. Um, I believe, yeah. I, be, yeah, I believe she makes $11 a month. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lower yeah. the well, camera. There you go. God, in she's good. War torn oh, nation my God. that has no laws. So, this is, I, that's actually informational. I didn't know you could do it with your hands like that. Hmm. Her tits are comically big. They are. Ridiculous. It looks like they're cartoon tits. They're, I mean, the size of a baby has got to be huge. Those are the biggest tits oh I think I've ever seen. God. Yeah. Those are the biggest Are you tits. pretending also that that's your dick right now and she's just getting every last drop out? I don't know. I wish she'd be a little more sexual about it. She's so mechanical and she's just doing it into a fucking highball glass. And you're like, ah, I can't. So you ah. can. Wait, hold on. Ah. I wonder how many 
10 years old. Call your dad off, sometime. Jerked yeah. off to this. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, so what was the view count on this? Also around 38 million. <laughs> that's, that's the magic number for this right. educational so stuff. So what's, how do we get educationally naked and sell shit for two bears? Ah, uh, fuck. How do we get educationally oh, naked? that just gave me an idea for the other thing we've been, like the stuff we worked, we met about the, the Zoom call yesterday. Yeah. When we actually, it's yes. time to do that. That's something that we should. We should definitely. Be naked. Yeah. Yeah. This is insane. I want to see I want to see more nudity. What are some other things like how, okay, is how there a, how to milk? I was going to say can you do a a prostate milking? Prostate milking. Yeah. This is insane. This is a cheat code. So YouTube allows, Imagine if you're fucking 12 years old. Imagine if you milk me. <laughs> milk my prostate educationally in a video. Prostate <laughs> massage. Oh my god. Massage. Oh. Oh my gosh. Right, so there. there's the joke. Okay, that's real. What? This one right here. Let's see it. Keeps males improved function. Can yeah. go prostate removal. Get to the fucking. Okay. Yep. I would have the one on the left leave the room. Tina and Fey then... and Amy Poehler are going to milk me. <laughs> okay, right okay. here. Oh, we'll bring in fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck. the, is, yes. there, is there audio? Because we want to train our patients in a functional position, and this is the same position we this is... have. Even hotter. Our patients go home and perform their Kegels in, which is standing. He's got a towel on, which means coordinate a Kegel properly. We would start in laying, and we can use the ultrasound on the perineum. Either way, most men are comfortable. Ultrasound to know on the that perineum. That they don't have to have any invasive evaluation of their pelvic floor muscles, as they've already been through so much. Get in, get in there. So we're get going in to there. demonstrate using our very generous volunteer here mm -hmm. how get we her hands would in evaluate there. Get her hands in there using the ultrasound. Oh. Earlier we spoke about uh, how we use just just get get her get her hands under the towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next, yeah. next. Oh, she's next. just doing ultrasound and we stuff. Tell him this it's time. Okay, okay. Close this video. Next fucking waste of time. One, didn't one. learn Boring. shit. God damn it! The woman should be fucking disbarred. Yeah. Well, that looks like she's getting in there. Prostate. Keep drainage. Going. Next, on. next. I don't want to see it. Fucking more, 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 more. Well, that's okay. a dick. Is that a dick? That's a finger. Oh, that's a finger. How about um. Hmm. I think go back to the views, most popular. Nursing Project Prostate Exam. No, oh, that's a dude it's... finger with dude's ass. <laughs> <laughs> prostate massage. And she's, she oh, really look at that girl up. with the fucking sex toy. What are their views? 1.5 million. Let's just see mm. okay, what Caitlin V does. 1.4 million. She looks like she's jacking one off in her face. That, yeah, that one prostate massage looks like she's fingering his ass. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Whoa. Right there, that one. Is that? Yeah, that yeah. looks like it. Yep, hold on. There we go. <laughs> this is like fishing. Yeah, this is like fishing. Oh, is that our boy? Kind of looks like him. Especially the gland penis. Rav. Rav. So the prostate Rav. gland. It is him. Uh, it's him. It's one thing that is so important in men. And um, it's according to how old we are. So we're going to start with on the, fr on the top. Is he about to figure? Oh, that girl's gonna finger his asshole. Okay, I'm fucking booking a trip to Thailand. So um, the um, <laughs> if you if you look carefully. Okay, keep uh -huh. going, keep going, keep going. Well, her Just get her hands in right his on ass. The pelvic bone above the prostate Next. gland. Yeah. And Wait, the is that how you massage prostate? prostate? Gland, they are, they no, he's just warming it up. Did there you read that? There we go. There we yeah, go. There yeah, we go. Yeah, there yeah, we go. There yeah. we go. I want to see her finger go in. How's he not hard yet? Yeah. You you move. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When's this guy gonna get? You hard? you first yeah. you hold for twenty minutes. I'm 20 not minutes. watching this to not first. come. Where? Why 20, is this? Sorry, <laughs> twenty pauses. <laughs> Scroll. Twenty time. What the fuck? And hold the oh, there, oh, there we go. The there we go. The end is toward the below the test. She's in there. And you yes. feel, he feel like, She's I mean, at, at this point, can we just take it off? Like, his, fucking, the his balls are hanging out the side. It's like, oh, we're being, she, oh, his hands no, are, he's, a, in the million he's, dollar holding, area. he's holding the guy's dick. He's holding the guy's dick. He calls okay. it the million dollar area. Look. She's putting two thumbs in his ass. <laughs> like she's this girl and Ebert. Wow. Wow. After that, he moved all, because what, all that guy have scarring? From million dollar point to all the way up because it can be stuck on from here to here. 
He's like, I don't need gloves. Yeah. I'm okay. just gonna hold your dick, man. And he's. This is. This is so great. <laughs> he's fingering his just ass on YouTube. It Does it scroll? Scroll. This deep. <laughs> okay. Something else has got to happen here, right? I'd I make mean, it up. Make it. When you when massages. you walk on it, the body will send blood. Look at him. He's just holding it. He's just holding that guy's. He's a doctor. Yeah, sure. Or a porn star. He's not a doctor. <laughs> I bet he's not a doctor. At all. He's just like, I'll just hold your dick. Why is this so chick so fucking timid? And why is she so wearing much, gloves yeah. if he's not? <laughs> so, um, let's start over again. Let me turn my hair. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. In above the million dollar part, above the anus. Women would, uh, also have that. Above the yeah. anus. But it's not million dollar part. <laughs> How great would it be to be million on vacation <laughs> and wake up and see his face with her in between your legs? Yeah. Okay. Through the nervous system. And then he just keeps holding and your dick. Problem. This is crazy that this is on YouTube. Yeah. And then, can I tell you what's crazy? Mm. This is on YouTube and a video of Isla dancing in her bathing suit as at seven years old got flagged and put a strike on my account. A strike? Yeah. She was dancing to a... Uh, Tie, sit down, and everybody down. Don't, don't turn down for do to do to do. She was, she was like seven or eight, and she was dancing in her bathing suit, and they it got flagged, and I got a strike on my account. Did you get the strike removed? I, I don't. It was so back, back, ahead, like the. Uh, you know what else got flagged? A video of Georgia when she must have been seven or eight, going, uh, having my phone, shooting her feet. She goes, my feet. My feet, my feet, my feet, my feet. I got flagged. Yeah, I think this probably was during that like ad apocalypse thing where they just complete because there you there was this like um, pedophile ring of uh, like that was on YouTube and they had like hidden messages to each other. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. And then and everything got real crazy on you. That was when like you couldn't talk about anything, and then nobody was getting ads for. It was a few years ago, and that's when they discovered that there was all these videos, and it was all about like like creeps were had a special way to like they would communicate with each other about like watch these videos of kids. They were all watching. So gross. then YouTube, of course, but YouTube had to like revamp their whole. Um, they, well, I, I look, I don't mind system. YouTube having breastfeeding and put that that pump video is pretty. That, you should get that strike removed though if it's still there on your account. Yeah, I yeah, should. of course. Um, but that's, I mean, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind that girl milking her tits. I don't mind that guy fingering that guy's ass. I don't mind that guy, uh, wiping his anus at all. I don't mind any of that. The, none of that registers with me for offense. I don't, I go, don't pull them, any of them off at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. But then also like allow me to say, uh, like what they do flag is kind of fucking well, crazy. That's the big thing with YouTube. The big problem with YouTube, I would say in my experience is that there's a just a huge level of inconsistency. Yeah. There's just, they're not consistent. It's like, you guys talked about this thing. You said this word. And then you watch another video. They talk about the same topic. They say the same word. And they're like, yeah, that, that one didn't even uh, register to them. It's know? crazy because it does seem political. Yeah. it does. I mean, it does seem like they have like a, a weird agenda. It doesn't seem consistent to me that you'd, Take down. Uh, I don't. I don't even know who's been banned on you on YouTube. I don't know. But like, yeah. but or but you let a guy wax his anus. Yo, know, they really got. They cracked down hard on. Oh, craziest time was during like the height of COVID. Oh yeah, that was insane. And, where you couldn't hear another opinion. Uh, uh-uh, anybody saying anything about a vaccine? I, and by the way, I heard so little. I don't look. I was. I was also like ready to get vaccinated because I wanted to go back to work. Yeah. Like I didn't give a fuck. I was like, put it in me. I don't give a shit. I put worse in me. Like that's where I was at. But now I look at like. And I don't know if it's I don't know if it's real or not, but like if you, if you have a friend that maybe is uh, an anti vaxxer who's a conspiracy theory guy, like if you have one, I know I have one. I don't know if you have one. I think you might, but uh, you get every text you get is that's because he got the jab. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, and and so every text anyone gets falls snow skiing, and they're like, that's what happens when you get vaccinated, I know, I know, and you're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and so part of me goes, I wish I would fucking wish I had. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. I, I've had COVID seven times. Who so gives a fuck? It's apparently, seven. Well, apparently it works. The jab works. How, how many times did you have a bad um, bad symptoms? Once. Any, once? First, first time, time? First time. Yeah. First time was, wasn't even that bad though. It was just, there was like one day. Did you ever lie to people after you knew a result? 
I tried. You did? I tried. What do you mean you tried? I tried. When we got back from the special, I had I had I had work to do. Yeah. And uh a lot of work to do. And um and I came in and I, and everyone's like, "Yo, just so you know, everyone's testing positive that was on the plane." And I was like, oh, "That's crazy." And I was sick. <laughs> and I was like, "That's, that's crazy." Cr- that's crazy. And they're like, "Uh, how you feeling?" I said, "Fine." And they're like, "You sound a little congested." And I was like, and I'm talking to Jen, who I just hired, who works for me, and she's inside my gym with the with the doors kind of cracked, talking to me, and I'm in the yard, and she's like, "How are you feeling?" And I said, "I'm good." And she goes, "You don't sound good." And I went, "I'm fine. It's just a little congestion from the plane yesterday." And she goes, well, "They're calling that COVID." And I go, "What?" She goes, "How about we test you?" And I went, "Oh, I don't need to be tested." And she goes, "I think we should test you. We have a bunch of people in here." And I was like, "No, no, no. Seriously, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine." And by the way, Pete. Did not give a fuck. He was like, he was like, everyone's got COVID. You think you have COVID? And I was like, I go, I, I might. And he goes, Jen's gonna, he's t- next to me face to face. She swabs me. Is she t- is she positive at this she, point? No, no. She's got a mask on. She did not go on, didn't go on the plane. No, she went on the plane. She has a mask on. She comes out, gloves on, swabs me, comes in. She's like, honey, you're positive. And Pete is sitting right next to me, no mask. And he's like, fuck it. Looks like we're positive again. I go, you feel sick? He goes, nope. I said, what? He goes, I'll just get it from you right now. And so me and Pete went and did ad reads <laughs> and we did a bunch of fucking work together. He never got COVID. Pete's had COVID probably five times. Yeah. I've had, I've had it um, that I know about for sure. I guess the only time I saw positives. When you got out of the hospital. Well, that was the first time. That was the bad time. That, that was, was the only time that I had horrible symptoms. I got sick a few times after. But you thought it was withdrawals. Yeah. Well, that's what they told me. And then they're like, oh, it turns out you, you have COVID. That was a fucking, that was such a mess. But the couple other times <laughs> I tested positive once and I was, uh, I had to show my results to like, a a production. Yeah. And, uh, I just was like, um, I'm, I'm clean. I'm good to go. And they were like, can we see it? And I was like, I already threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, uh, we kind of need to verify it. So I just, uh, I got somebody else to take it. <laughs> and then I took a photo of that and I was like, here you go. I really, I swear to God, Pete will say no to this. Yeah. I swear to God. I swear to God. I thought, so when we got to do the special, they were COVID testing. Yeah. And I said, I said, literally, uh, if I test positive right now, yeah. fucking someone throw that away. I'm I'm doing the special. Yeah. There's too much money on the line. I'm doing the special. I thought, I thought I had it one time when I was doing Go Big Show when we were doing the finale. Yeah. I thought I definitely had tested positive. Yeah. And I thought they just threw it away and they're like, let's just get the finale. Yeah. I it's, mean, there's a there's a thing that I, I guess needs to be said. At a certain point, money is more important than people's health. Uh, you know? Some people. But yeah. so so we go to shoot the special. <laughs> and the fir- very first day of filming, I, th- I, f- I might be fucking this up. The very first day of production, not filming, but we do all the run throughs and everything. Pete's sick, right? He's sick. And he goes, I think I'm going to stay in the, in the whatchamacallit today. And we're like, cool. So he stays in the hotel. I swear to God, to this day, I think Pete had COVID. And he just took one for the team. He was like, I'm not going to come in. And then, and then when he did come in, I, I don't know. I, he, I know he tested, and he tested negative. But I tested negative. Everyone tested negative. Part of me thinks, like Pete the gangster, the way Pete's brain worked, is he goes, uh, you know, let me operate the test today. And then just did everyone. And he was like, we're all clean. Let's Real go. Good. Let's yeah, get yeah, this yeah. out. Because yeah. everyone, literally, the day after that we wrapped, yeah. everyone got COVID. Yeah, he he helped you out. I I, I, it, I know he didn't because he he would tell me the truth. But there's a part of me that loves him so much that I go, he'd do that for me. Sure, he would definitely. Yeah, he'd help me get rid of a body. That's when you know someone is as I like to call solid. Do you know what he did for me yesterday, yeah. Tom? He went through all his notes of all the shows I've done. And took every joke that I didn't put in a special that I mentioned, even like throwaway lines, and printed them out on a spreadsheet and gave it to me last night. He goes, you need to work on these. I was like. That's great. He's the fucking best, dude. That is great. Yeah. And we, then then you know that like those are also yours to use now. Yeah. Like if it's a, if you didn't put it in anything. Yeah. And it's, there was so much shit. I was like, fuck. I ran through all of it last night and did like an hour and 15, hour 20. And the. And the little boy. Yeah. But. uh Hey, it has been the funnest 200 episodes of podcasting I've ever done is this show. Yeah, me too, man. This show, it, it's the weirdest show I've ever been associated with. 
it's probably the most trouble I've ever gotten in because I've said wild shit on this podcast. Yeah. I say wild shit around you. Yeah. But I hope that people watching this enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it because I'll Me do too. this forever. It's the most fun I've had too. It's, it's so silly. It's so much fun. You make me laugh uh, so hard. And I, I really enjoy like us getting together and catching up and doing this. Yeah. Um, it's a good time. Uh, it was, it's fun. We, you know, who else you have a amazing teacup. I have this katana sword. You have chloroform. <coughs> no one has friends like this. No so one knows. it's a, uh, it's fun. I love you. I hope we do uh, a few hundred more of these yeah. and um, you know, fuck it. Let's bring back fat Tom. I'm going to have a donut. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening guys. Let's bring back fat Tom. Let's do it. Which ones are on the bottom? Ooh, let's Those see. Oh, the I'm fucking a classic. Oh, classic. Oh, classic. Nice, nice 80 calories. We'll see you guys uh, next time. I love Cheers. you. Cheers. Love you. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.